Hello everyone and welcome, welcome in there. We got some Amateur Gaming League action here on the uh, Spotty of Stream. Nice to see you all guys. My name's Spotty FC. This is a really early matchup. I'm a little bit tired, but <laughs> we've got uh, one match actually. Put up to you guys a best of seven part of the Amateur Gaming League, as I've mentioned already. We're looking at a uh, bracket right now. We've actually got to see earlier this week this another matchup in this group. Sees for Cookie taking down Def Cloud Donuts. I can also tell you, No Blue Specials also, I believe, won their matchup a few days ago. It has not been reported. So, first, we're going to be seeing who plays against that team in the semifinals the Boogie Men or DNA Ice B here. Again, a very exciting matchup. Um, again, a best of seven, as I mentioned. This is C1, C2, 3v3. So, uh, again, we've seen DNA Ice B, but we saw them last in the 2v2 circuit. Also, actually, seen the Boogie Men before, but this com team has completely changed since then. Um, so it, it's basically completely new for us here, and how these rosters are going to play against each other. Still, I'm excited for this one. A eh? it should be a close match up here. Boogie, the Boogie Men taking on E N A. And a uh, again. A will probably be a very close best of seven so i'm hoping so this is definitely the, supposed to be the closest matchup the fourth seed the fifth seed get on each other here okay man end of the season five and one dna ice b four and two they never played each other during that but how they got to here and it is single elimination you lose your out so it's gonna be a very intense uh, playoff bracket for both of these sides As again, we're just looking to get things sorted out here. As again, and again, we're gonna get this series underway as soon as we can, but and playoff matches. We'll see as it comes down to these moments. When you really gotta show up and uh, we'll see which of these two teams can do it here tonight. The Boogie Men or DNA. Boogie Men, I don't believe are in order, but DNA is obviously a part of DNA Esports that had been on the stream actually a lot recently. So, always nice to see them again. And we're just looking to get this uh, up and running hopefully as long as we can, but then still Tons of uh, interesting questions about how these teams will play as Hello TV. Uh, TVM Bride, thank you for the hope to support your stream. Nice to see you here. Again, it's a really early matchup. I rarely have matches this early uh, anymore, but fortunately, I can still stream on the weekend at this, at this time. It's just, again, earlier than usual. Again, it should be an exciting matchup here, part of the Amateur Gaming League. We've seen Again, we've seen already, this is the second of this group's playoffs, so a decent number of playoff matches already. Do we casting? Of course, no problem is. Again, we'll get ourselves in here as soon as we can. We'll get ourselves started as soon as we can. We're just waiting on these teams. As soon as they're in next we're gonna we're gonna start. I don't mind if we start a little early here. So yeah, again, it's the only match actually I have scheduled for today. I don't have anything scheduled for the evening, so for me, this will just be a fun time. Let's get ourselves started as soon as we can.
Again, apologies on that delay here, but again, we'll get this sort of as soon as we can. Just a few minutes here. As again, this is free for you, so okay, man. The NASP. Just uh, I'm trying to get these teams in here because I don't want to have to start later. Me too. I think what's interesting about the NASP and uh, I remember play that really shocked me last time I saw them. Uh, play was uh, Elite Pure Cost. Um, he seems like a really mechanical player. The last time I saw him, he was definitely mechanical. That was also in a 2v2 matchup. That's where you have a lot more space in 2s. You've got to be a lot more mechanical. In 3s, you're not going to have that kind of space so easily. You really need to create your own, so... We we'll see how that works here, but... Oh, it seems like Merit and Snipples are in for Muge Men. Assuming Mental might be their last player. For DNA again, they have 4 players. Uh, Temp, the Pure Cost, Slim Rocket, Drank X. We'll see which of those players... Are joining here. They're just about to hit that match start time, so hopefully these guys will be in any moment. Welcome in from Mandy. Thank you for the follow, Mandy. Welcome to the Spodia stream. Is yeah, Mental's in and T Max also in? So yeah, Mental, T Max, Snipples, seem well. So just waiting on the, on uh, DNA Ice B to join. Uh, again, as soon as these are here, we'll be good to get things going. And I do apologize on the uh, delay here, but again, if it should they should be here. I mean, I did message them; they responded. So. And that, that means that they should be online, but well, you never know. This you never know what this like. <laughs> It, it, sometimes teams do fall a little late, especially with matches being this early. I, I've never, I've rarely had matches this early before. Again, it's not uncommon. It has happened. It's just usually when matches are this early, it's usually because it's European matches. This is a North American match. I'm surprised the North American is being played at noon. I said noon Eastern, but I mean, I'm all for it. I don't really mind too much. How much should be this early? No, they shouldn't. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's available. Although I do, I, I agree with you in that matches are very late. I, but Rocket League matches love to be super late. Um, I do better when it's later. Actually, I do better when it's early. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, I have to assume it's because of the of Super Bowl being late. Um, but anyways, we'll get these guys in. Slim Rockets here, Drink and Temp, and Pure Cost. All of them are in here. Oh well. Get this match underway here. A best of seven figures. This is the quarterfinals here. The Boogie Man taking on DNA Ice B. Let's get this series underway. These teams still delaying a little bit, but we'll get them in. I want to have this match start as soon as we can because I want you guys to see this action. Here it is. It's the quarterfinals of the Amateur Gaming League. The Boogie Men taking on DNA Ice B here in Champ 1, Champ 2, 3v3 action. Winner moves to semis. Loser is out, and already the Boogie Men, six seconds in, will get themselves on the board. Blue side. And just look at this one. Z Mac just <laughs> races right down for it. He recognizes from that far of a distance. That net's kind of open for him. Nobody was blocking it for DNA. They either got bumped out or been removed in the 50 50. The Boogie Men up. By one, they are the slight favorites in this matchup. But neither of these teams haven't ever played each other before in this uh, grouping. It really is anybody's game in that sense. DNA Ice, I think the only DNA team left in this circuit. Again, having made it to the top eight. No, they're not. They actually, there's a second one. DNA Weeping uh, Demons also made it into the top eight, but that match still has not been confirmed. I don't know. What the scoreline has been for that match. Again, they're here. Weeping Demons are here. Weeping Angels was the third DNA team in this grouping, but they had a very rough season. Only one win. They stood no chance to make it to the playoffs. We have the Boogie Men, of course. Making a big run so far, but that off the back wall. Elite Pure Cost making the offense and attempt to shoot, but that will be a whiff. And the Boogie Men will clear with T Mac. 
So far, so good for the Bulgarian men, but they are getting beaten quite badly on these 50-50s, and that net's wide open! But that shot from Elite Pure Cost will not find the target, and you better watch out for Elite Pure Cost. This guy will shoot, this guy has mechanics to shoot. And what I've seen before, before the 2 a 2 matches, he will not miss often if you give him the opportunity. And Drankex in the midfield. Here comes Temp, that one saved by Mental off the goal line. The Bogey man not holding down very well in this back line. It feels way too easily a uh, given away for them. So, so far, so good for the Bogey men, but I think they're going to want to play a little bit more aggressively on these challenges. This feels like they take far too long to do so because once they do, then they're the ones caught back. But great offense there, DNA ISP, for the save there from Drankex. Mental. Towards himself, that 50 off the post, and so far a lot of back and forth action so far. Now neither team really playing all that much defense. Still only one goal has been scored. These teams just slightly missing the target so far. It's early Sunday morning. It's mental. Get around the leap pure cost. T Mac waiting, gets the dunk. Not much else there as Temp will clear it out. T Mac now. Long boom downfield, Elite Pure Cost trying to stop him, but it's TMA to the back wall. Drank X will clear Temp, and Elite Pure Cost are jumping a double commit for DNA ISP, but again, they have done so well right now, and something that Pokemon have not done well, which is challenge early. DNA ISP have prevented a lot more shots from Pokemon because they're willing to challenge, they're willing not to give up space, they're willing not to wait on their goal line. Pokemon feel a lot more passive in that sense, and it has actually come to bite them back a little bit here as. Seriously, they've been the ones that had to wait on the challenges. So far, so good as a one goal lead, but it won't stay that way for long. As Drank X will win the challenge, and DNA Ice B will tie this game up. Snipples just overshot that one. I'm trying to send it down straight down the middle of the field. It is DNA who will take it. Now a follow-up chance, that one deflected wide by Temp. But here comes DNA, and that's off the bar. Leap your cost. We'll take the lead here. Ball gonna bounce around. The Boogie Men kept getting bumped out as well. Again, DNA Ice B. Have done well at challenging early. They've done well to be that team that takes the advantage and really does take that aggression to a whole new level. They're creating the opportunities. They're taking a little more risk on their plays. And you're seeing it work here. The Boogeyman, they just feel far too passive. DNA will totally be uh, available to take that from them. DNA still searching, though. It's kind of a surprise here that, you know, they were the ones that scored first. They, have, they did not have the lead for very long. But they do have it now, and with 60 seconds left, the Boogie Man, now it's up to them to be able to make the uh, take the initiative, really make these opportunities for themselves. As yes in chat, yes, loser of this series will be eliminated from the season. It's his single elimination after all. One of the top four teams in the quarterfinals can move on to next week. Snipples can't put that shot on. It's DNA, Elite Pure Cost will to clear this one out. And the Boogie Men right now not being able to be the first ones to make the move. C Mac. Oh, he's got a whiff there. Temp on it. Demoed away by Snipples. The Boogie Men struggling to get ball possession. They are going down the field, that one, Snipples, second touch, he's put it through. A big shot at a big moment. Snipples may not have put in that first chance, oh, but that second one will come in straight. And it's tied up once again. The boogie man. Bringing the aggression, mental. Leap pure cost, one touch, down to the back wall, but that does go just wide, and this ball still kept up, and it's zero seconds. I don't know if we're going to see a chance made here. We will not. 
Ian HB will take this to overtime. A late goal from the Bull Game Men. Gives them hope here. The favorites in this matchup, at least on paper. Slightly better record. Really is all they have to show for it, though. Really, DNA and ISB have been the better team so far. Much more willing to take the aggression challenge early. I feel like the team that wants to win this one more, the Bull Game Men. Right now, it just feels like they're a little too passive to be successful. And it's DNA who will continue to try to be that more dominant team on getting offense. It's Drank X. Elite Piracost to take it. T Mac will get it on the goal line. And no follow up chance for DNISB. I mean, the Boogie Men will clear this one out. T Mac. Across the net says, Temp won't reach it. Mental, one chance to go for it. He's got it. A miss from DNA SP. And the Boogie Men will slot that one to the top of the net. Temp didn't have it. And Elite Purecost stuck facing backwards. It's Mental's shot to take game one for the Boogie Men. For a team that got that first goal. They were not the ones to bring that offense. It was Dina ASP to do it, and it was specifically Elite's pure cost. And yet still, Boogie Men, they just took their time. They played a little more patiently. Now they're forcing DNA to start making some changes. Yeah, they've already, I think, reached into that bag of rush changes. They do have Slim Rocket waiting on the sidelines, so wouldn't be too surprised if that's who they're subbing in. So far, game one will go to the Boogie Men. Again, ended off, ended off their regular season with a 5 and 1 record. We lost coming to Defco Donuts, who are actually already eliminated. So, for them, every team that's still in this bracket is either teams they have never played before or teams that I, they have beaten. Or DNA Ice, their loss is coming to DNA Weeping Demons and to EXS Synergy and. Those teams actually do need to play, will be playing against each other in the quarterfinals. Again, that's the one match I do not know the results of. And I believe the winner of this matchup will be taking on the number one overall seed in the Nobu specials in the semi finals. But so far, game one will go to the Boogie Men. You know, ASP, again, one of the two DNA. Teams in this final bracket. Looking to see if DNA can take over here in the Amateur Gaming League. Game 1 wasn't successful, but oh my goodness, wait a second. Drank X will be gifted a goal here. That should not have gone in. And Snipples, he's... I don't know why he felt the need to jump for that one. There was no way Drank X would have gotten to it. A horrible mistake. There was no pressure on him. And that is a free goal for DNA Ice B. DNA Ice won't be uh, complaining about it, but I'm sure the Boogie Men will be. A Snipples, a gift to DNA Ice. And for a team that's been playing as well, you do not want to give them free goals. What a weird start that is. An own goal that had no need to be an own goal. It is DNA who will look to be the ones to bring the pressure. Mental. Won't be able to make a touch there as Snipples now do the back wall. Elite Puricos challenge that one going just a little wide, but the Boogie Men looking quick to respond here. Mental stopped by Slim Rocket who again subbed himself in. Here he did sub himself in for a temp, so. And a and making that change here. We'll see how much of a difference it makes so far. They do have they are the ones to score first, but I'll need to do a little bit more. To really prove that change, that roster change did mean something. That ball pinched down the field. It will be the Boogie Men who do collect on it. As Snipples. Frank X off the side wall. T Mac to go for it, but he's missed the ball completely. Still the Boogie Men. Always keeping one player far back in that defensive half. They recognize that Deanna Ice B like to clear the ball. They're just going to wait for the chance to come to them. As that one, panic in front, but. No goal still. Boogie Men still searching. D Mac. 
That's a great first touch. It will still be DNA who can get to it, but Loge Man continuing to challenge well. And just hold this team back, pin them in their own back line. And for DNA, they have no aspirations to be here, but unfortunately for them, they are still stuck on defense. Drankex trying to clear this one out. He's got the touch. Mental will be next up to it. DNA, get rid of that defensive pressure. They will. Elite Pure Cost to shoot it! And where was the defense? The Boogeyman, another gift. And this one, well, it wasn't as bad as the last one. T Mac, you just wonder what in the world he thinks he needs to do there. It looked like he wanted to position himself on that front post, yet there was really no reason to do so. And another one where just bad positioning, bad decision making is costing the Boogeyman. DNA, unlike last game, have not won on offense. And yet they're the ones up by two. Because the Boogeyman, their defensive structure is falling apart. But that's an open net. Mental will put one back. And for all the mistakes they've made, they have had a lot of offense. Two minutes, 20 seconds to go. Still feels like it's up in the air, but the Bogey men, their defense is going to be under a lot of scrutiny. Their offense, though, it's shown up, but can it score goals? DNA is putting the pressure on them here as Elite Pure Goss has the dribble. One more touch, he's got it, but Mental will block him. Still, O Sneffles on the goal line. He's pushed out far, but that what, shot will be just wide as the Bogey men. Nearly caught on another error on defense. Snipples rushing out what he should have stayed on the goal line. Give himself as much time as possible to stay back. The DNA with the ball. Stopped by T-Mac. Now Mental will get the beat to it. Elite Pure Cost. Tent down the field, but T-Mac already up. The ball game men. Quick to look to get into offense. Snipples. I think he's looking for some bumps there. Just trying to create havoc, but he found nothing. DNA look to clear this ball out quickly. Unfortunately for them, the Bogey men aren't willing to let that happen. T Mac now. An infield pass attempt, but Elite Pure Cost will clear. Not very well. Mental to shoot that one. Still saved by Drankex. Yeah, nice speed. Maybe saw some. Uh, life flash before their eyes there. That was not where you want to put that ball. A fortunate play because, I mean, in that position, you have to pre jump there. I'll be so fortunate that they are able to reach up correctly because that really could have been a great opportunity for the Boogey men. One that more times than not you see teams score. DNA. He's starting to find a little bit of relief here because that definitely is a goal scoring chance the Boogey men could have taken. Instead, they're still stuck down by one. As double commit means now, Emax got to prevent the shot. Mental now. T-Mac on no boost. The Bogey Man right now. Aimless. Can't get down the field. And they will need to find something. Maybe this is it. T-Mac. No boost left. Mental though. He's backflipped on the spot. That was a great place to challenge. And time will run out here as DNA. Look to put in one more. They won't, but they won't need it. Game two will be theirs. And for the Bogey Men, they got themselves started far too late. The offense with the end SB continued to play its way, but. The Boogie Men, defensive rotational mistakes are hurting them. The first two goals, really the only two goals with DNA ISB, came off of mistakes. The Boogie Men should have and probably could have stopped those plays. And yet, still, it's up to them to not make those mistakes. The, this DNA side does not care what mistakes you make. They're here to play their style. It's, and if goals are gifted to them, they will take it. Can we continue on here? What a game that was. It was close. That was definitely intense though, but this series is tied up and how these teams are playing. This could be a long one here.
We go to game number three. And it's DNA who've, again, consistently shown they bring the offense. Last game. Came from a lot of mistakes, and it's up to the Boogeyman to be able to be the ones to shut down on those mistakes. Not make nearly as many of them. Any mistake will be DNA Ice's chance. And it's DNA Ice who have, again, taken those opportunities here. Complete pure cost. Ends of the midfield. New challenge, and so far, a lot of midfield battling, but we've seen these teams trade midfield uh, opportunities, trade the midfield control. They've both had it. They've both taken their own opportunities on offense. Again, it seems like it's those mistakes, those mistouches these teams are waiting for here in the playoffs. It's so tough, you know, with the pressure on you to not make them, but this is the place where you have to play your best. With how DNA Ice B have been playing so far, it's not easy to uh, play perfectly if you're on the boogie man. DNA. No boost here for Slim Rockets. No roster change made either, so they liked what they saw from last game. I I mean, they did win, so I'm sure they'll be happy enough with that, but... You know, what I didn't like about last game was they had so much offense, they just didn't have a lot of shooting for DNA. They, it, again, it felt like they were winning more mistakes, and that isn't always going to happen against a lot of teams. It's a list that may work here against the Boogeymen, but... Against teams like uh, Newbie Specials, and against teams like, you know, DNA Weeping uh, Demons, you're not going to see those mistakes happen often. Even the Boogeymen have shown that they are not entirely mistake-prone. It's a play style that you can't rely on. You need to be able to make your own chances. DNA. Again, once they like don't have mistakes given to them, that really makes things a lot tougher for them because they don't challenge all. They don't challenge close enough to that net. They challenge early on defense, but on offense, they feel like they're a bit lost. Drank kicks, mental. Drank X says he will get the dunk from Rocket now. Looking for offense, DNA trying to get as close as they can to that net, but again, they just fall short of the target. Now a pop up, Snipples will clear that ball away, and it will be DNA who have to restart from the back line, but maybe counterattack is where they have to play this one because they have not won when it comes to holding a ton of possession. Maybe instead, trying to bring these plays to one on ones, forcing the boogeymen to move back quickly. Maybe that's where DNA will be successful. It's a play style that feels like it won't work on at the start because you have, because it relies on you to play defensively. We've seen teams be that play style over and over again and continue to succeed. None of these teams really want to play that style. No team wants to be the more defensive side. No one wants to play on their back line, wants to trust in their back line. I mean, you can understand why that would be the case with, again, how many mistakes we have seen from these sides, the pressure being on them. It might be the playstyle that would work here, because both these teams want to play offense so badly, but they, neither of them have really succeeded in doing so. As uh, no goal still in here in game three. This is the longest we have yet to see a goal, but here comes T-Mac right on cue. That's going to be number one for the Boogeyman. As DNA, they're the ones to make the first mistake here. A whiff from Drankex and from Slim Rockets. And Dmax got nothing but goal in front of him. And this series has flip flopped on who wants to lead and who will take it. The Boogeymen have it now, but. And they hold on to it. Nipples. Until won't get the ball as Snipple still with it. T Mac off to the corner. Slim Rockets missed it. That's gonna be number two. And another whiff from DNA. And that's another goal for the Boogeyman. One mistake. That's all it takes here. And Slim Rocket right now caught in both of these goals and making a whiff. And it is the Boogeyman who will take full advantage right now. A 
his DNA. It's their choice if they can play up or not. Need two goals here, and they have little time left. And T-Mac won't give it to them. Oh, what a dribble. Out of nowhere as well. I just, I have not seen T-Mac pull that out today. That is a beautiful two-touch air dribble. Right past the market, gets him the jump. A shot for the boogeyman that most more than likely will secure this game for them and secure the series lead. Your DNA. At this point, can they even get one goal against the boogeyman here on DFH? As Drank X. Mental does get that touch. Now he's going down field. Mental won't be able to get that one there. Some rocket. Pipples will beat him, but it's a clear for Drank X. Ten seconds and counting. The boogeyman will take game three. They'll take the lead in the series once again. They're going to find themselves one step ahead here of DNA Ice B. It's DNA who this game could not get the first goal, and really it has felt like that first goal sets the tone here for these two teams. We have not seen a team come back from being uh, from being scored on first to win a game yet. Maybe that's the game plan these teams need to go for. Go hard early, get that first goal, and reap the benefits. The DNA, again, we've seen the offense are already going into the subs again. Temp's coming back on. It's time to replace Drank X. So, for DNA, this is a team that has, has had some... I'm assuming he's had some issues with their roster so far because the fact of the matter is they're making so many moves. I've, I've always said that I don't like making roster moves in the middle of a series because it doesn't... Well, it might change things for a game. It doesn't change things for a team. You have to learn your own team playstyle as well and get used to that just as much as the other team needs to learn about you. The reason I don't like making roster moves in the middle of a series, but for DNA... I see, whenever they lose, they are the ones who want to make one. And I don't know if I've been a big fan of that, but so far, they have done so. As the boogeyman who, again, have scored first last game, got all three goals from T Mac. Game four, all they need to do is repeat that. They'll be on match points in this best of seven quarterfinals. Reminder, whoever loses this is going to be eliminated from the season. Only one team can move on. And it's a real tough battle for these sides, but somebody's got to win this one. The bogeymen so far have been the ones to get that series lead, but we haven't seen any team really take full on control. It's always been whoever can score first is the one to win, it feels. That kind of a, and that kind of a strategy means that it's really any team who can take it. Whoever just gets themselves on offense should be the ones to take it right now. There's DNA right now on offense, but a clear T-Mac will hit this ball away. He had a stellar performance last game. Three goals. Can he do it again? Well, right now he may not have to because mental shot just wide. He was able to put one in for the boogeyman. Now T-Mac, that bullet sent to the corner. A minute gone already. Both teams showing their teeth here early. But nobody has been able to take a bite into that scoreline. As Temp, we just got a little chip there and Sniffles is completely out of position. And the Boogeyman, I'm just surprised how easy this looked for DNA Ice B. Sniffles, I mean, he's forced to challenge her. You can't wait for the play to come to you. And yet nobody behind him, the Boogeyman, Gave him no support. And that's quite honestly. Is quite atrocious for our defense that gave up zero goals last game. I've said it's uh, mistakes for these teams that have really cost them more than anything. Now DNA SB were the ones to score first. And and as I said before, the team that scored first seems to be the ones to take the game, but the boogeyman may, may not want it. Infield for Snipples, that will roll on and in to the net. 
A bogeyman quick to respond as mental off the back wall. Nobody from DNA pulling the challenge early enough. It's an easy shot for Snipples. As it is DNA who they all to cover their back line, their back wall, really. The boogeyman. Big challenge there. Really exploit that. Back and forth. We might see another goal here if DNA find that infield pass connection. But the boogeyman were ready. They'll send both players a challenge it. Now they have offense. Mental with an open net downfield. Just needs to put it in, but that's a great save from Elite Pure Cost. It's the boogeyman. We'll continue to try to bring offense. T Mac, the back wall. Mental doesn't have it. Snipples, net doesn't have it either. The boogeyman still challenging, still winning in the midfield. But it will not be much pressure for them. As DNA continue to deny them of their opportunities. As they have a dunk from Temp, that net's going to go in. And a strange one for DNA. I really felt like out of nowhere, Mental tried to poke it past Temp. He took the risk there. It won't pay off for him. And it's really one of those situations where if he succeeds, that's a goal for the Boogeyman. If he does it, it's a goal for DNA. Who's willing to take it, but it won't go his way. Again, it's DNA who take the lead here. The Boogeyman forced to respond as Mental... Around the back wall should be an easy clear here for Frank X. Now he's still up with it is Drank X. Was uh, we got a rule one on that side wall? We'll see how long these teams hold it, but it look like Mental and Temp have any reason to break it. Might want to now though, because that net's open for the Boogeyman T Mac to go for it, and that's tied at two. Respectful shot for T Mac, but far more respect given to. Mental, and I believe that's pure, and it, uh, no, it's not pure cause, that's tempo. We're on that side wall. Respect to them. Lean to play with the unwritten rules of Rocket League. This game tied again as, you know, again, continuing to do sub players out. They actually had sub, sub Slim Rocket out at the start of this game, not, I thought it was going to be, uh, Bank actually got subbed out, but, because he left initially, but I think he just made for a card change. So far, the Boogeyman reminder, if they take this game, they'll be on, on triple match point. Perfect position to move themselves into that next round quite quickly. For DNA. They don't want their season to end. Both these teams have had successful... Runs so far. It's only one of them can move on, though, as a touch from Snipples. Just wide. DNA panicking to get there, but they're clear. Very powerful, and it's going to force the Boogeyman to jump as... Oh, a double commit. Snipples keeps Temp away from the net, but... Still searching here for DNA, and a late pure cost just off the post. It's getting so close for both these sides. Who can take it? Someone's got to score soon. These back lines are only, only going to be able to hold on for so long. DNA. At least right now, have been that team that has played better when this game is tied, when it's been closer. They've been able to be the ones that just have a little extra, a little bit more to give on offense. And the boogeymen. They've been the ones that had to play up to them, but a great demo. In comes Elite Pure Cost to clear the danger. A mental, we have the ball off the ceiling. Mental going for a goal, triple commit from DNA to keep it out. The boogeyman still search. T Mac at Zemo seconds. One more shot. Here it is, and it's Snipples. Game four will go to the boogeyman on Zemo seconds. T Mac to Snipples, and that's to the open net. They have match points. They only need one more win. At Zevo seconds, the Boogeymen get one last goal. The first time in this series, we see a team come back from being scored on first.
He'll move to game number five. We'll move what will be a match point for uh, this boogeyman side. They came in as the slight favorites here, but they want to take the series right here, right now. This is their time to do it. Game five. Here we are, the boogeyman, DNA Ice B. Eventually, one last game. Unless DNA can prolong this series, but for them, they've got their work cut out for them. The boogeyman, now with full confidence. The semifinals are within reach. It's them who can take it. As DNA look to continue their offense going here, but Snipples looking to shoot. That one saved away easily. T Mac left in front as Mental will jump. Got the dunk on Slim Rocket. They're just falling in front of the head here, but DNA will do well to keep their calm. Elite Pure Cost will send the ball out. As the Boogeyman continue to search though, DNA holding strong right now in front of their net, but they've got to be careful because Mental will shoot it. He's got the dunk. Mental will score, and the Boogeyman. A little bit of fortune will go a long way. They strike first here on Urban Central. Now match point. Does their season stay alive? Does their season, does their storyline continue? Four minutes left, a one goal lead. They just need to hold it from, from here on now. Is that a second from Snipples? Here we go, two for the boogeyman. And it, it feels like this, they are the ones who want to prolong their season, their storyline. Four minutes, a two goal lead to hold. DNA. Struggle to come back. Especially with the momentum on the boogeyman's side. The DNA, they need to somehow break through boogeyman and stop them in their tracks. Really, you need a goal early if you're DNA. I don't think you see any other way you can come back to this, and maybe that's a chance, but it's off the post, T-Mac. We'll get a little bit of it, but that will be enough to keep the ball out. As DNA... Continue to look for the challenge. Temp again. Stopped by Snipples. DNA holding off. It's a great start for them if they want to come back in this game. But again, they need a goal. I think they need one earlier. Really shut down the boogeyman. And remove them of their momentum. So far, they have come up with nothing on offense. Leap pure cost now. 50 boost in the tank. Player waiting in the midfield, but he'll be dunked by T Mac. The Boogeyman looking for number three. That one in front. Cleared by Slim Rocket. And the Boogeyman. Continuing to wait for the opportunities to come to them. Slim Rocket. Oh, he's missed it. Mental to the back wall. Here's a second touch. That should have been in, but... Uh, unfortunately for him, his team still leading, but... That could have been a third goal. Really should have been a third goal. The NRSB just need to consider themselves fortunate. Again, they're just not finding the goals. The Boogeyman, they need to challenge very far back, but DNA, they need to score. They can't hold on the offense, and maybe that will be one. Elite Pure Cost, cutting the lead in half. So just simply pop it up. T-Mac was looking for boost, but he actually had boost there. He was trying to leave his net and get to himself some space. He won't be given time to challenge. DNA. We're now one goal close to tie this game up and potentially take down the Boogeyman. Keep this series going. It's only the quarterfinals right now, but both these teams, their seasons are at risk of being eliminated. The Boogeyman have the upper hand, but DNA. Adding some great offense. At least recently I found some great offense. 
and they find more Sniffles. Elite Pure cost that one. Sailing to the net, but will be T Mac and the Boogeyman will look to get this one out. As Sniffles, Elite Pure cost, leaving it for Slim Rockets. It's DNA who searched downfield as Mental. A big clear, still going as Mental. The Boogeyman. Doing the search around that goal. It's DNA. Continuing to try to find something here, but inside the final 60 seconds, time's running out for DNA Ice B to get this series to keep it going. The Boogeyman. It's their chance to take it here. They just need to play defense for a little bit longer. As DNA intends that there's some panic here. A sense of rush. Maybe they need something. There's a double commit from Boogeyman. They'll keep it out still. DNA sent back. Snipples won't get a touch, but T Mac will. His play goes high. This DNA will clear it again with Temp. Mental. First to it on the scene for the Boogeyman. He'll waste some time out here. And to look for the clear. Slim Rocket. Oh, he's missed his challenge. Even more time ticking off the clock. 10 seconds and counting. DNA Ice B. Their, their season. On the lines here, they have to score. Veer and now, infield pass will go wide. The Boogeyman clear it long and he'll hit the ground. They are moving to the semifinals. DNA Ice B, their season ends here. The Boogeyman have a date with the Nobu Specials. Know the best of seven series next week for them, but for now, they'll be happy with that performance. What a series! Boogeyman, though, at game four really was a difference maker. The ability to bounce back from that. That's really allowed them to be as successful as they really were. Again, they need to be happy with that. That is a very exciting performance from them. And thank you for casting, of course, there, Bri. Again, the Boogeyman will take that one. Let me make sure I get that prediction poll done for you guys, because now confirmed. Actually, I'm getting a little interview with, I think, Mental of uh, the Boogeyman here. We'll chat with him afterwards. Why not? I think they thoroughly deserve it. But again, we're going to move on in that bracket. Meaning, I think the only match that hasn't been played yet, or I don't know about having been played yet, is DNA Weeping Demon TXS Synergy. I don't see any updates for it either. We'll see what happens, but so far... We'll get these guys in as Mental joins us here. A big win here. Welcome in Mental. A 4 to 1 series victories here against the Boogeyman. Uh, against the Boogeyman. For the Boogeyman against the <laughs> ISP. You move to the semifinals to, again, I believe play against the uh, Nobu Specials. I believe they've already played this week. Actually, I know they already played. I think they won uh, this week already. How do you guys feel, again, getting into the playoffs? Because, you know, getting into the playoffs, it's tough for any team. And for you guys, I'm sure there's a little bit of pressure on you. But how's it feel to? You know, get a win to prove that you are good enough to play in this final bracket. Well, my man, let me tell you, it has been a challenge. It has been a grind. Let me tell you, the teams, any team that we have faced has not been easy. It has definitely been an up and down battle. But I'm just very glad that my team's able to communicate. We're able to come out on top, make some decent plays happen, and come home with the victory. Yeah, I noticed a lot for that series that DNA HB continued to you know, look to make roster moves, and for you guys, you have a sub in Sora, and even Tenzin. Tenzin can also sub in, but uh, for you guys, you know, what is it about this roster that a lot, that forces you guys not to make subs, even if you can't, even if sometimes you can't win those games? Something about it's just something with this team chemistry overall. The way that we talk, the way that we move around each other, everything just kind of falls into place like a Tetris board. It everything just makes sense, and. Even if we do end up having to sub in, the chemistry is just the same. 
but overall we just this is the squad yeah, again it definitely has been you guys again confidence you're playing well and you know take me through that game four again it was it felt like that was a game that really determined the series for you guys it felt like once you won that you were not going to lose so just tell me about that game four how much it meant to you guys specifically because that was quite the match that was quite the game and it was one where you guys had to come back and take that win so tell me because that felt like the most important game of the series oh it most definitely was and to be honest wow. I'm, I'm not gonna lie partially through that game at least my morale was starting to go down. I was like, damn, these guys are really good. I don't know if we're going to be able to come back from this, but we down. made a couple of minor nope. changes in what we were doing, and we were able to overcome how they were playing, and it, it really just meant the world to us, to be honest. We were so excited when we were able to have that comeback, but I, I really thought they were going to hold us, to be honest with you. Definitely. Again, they, I mean, it feels like the NSP can definitely do that, but again, you guys, again, I believe, have to play the Obi Specials next week. That's the toughest team in your group. And I don't know if you guys have played them before, but... Um, I do not believe we have. I don't no. think you have, either. They're a solid team. They have not lost this season. The only team that hasn't lost this season yet. So, uh, for you guys, what are you going to do to, you know, see if you can continue and move on to that finals? Because they're going to force you guys to play your best. Oh, and I know it. And we're going to continue to keep practicing at our best. Practice like we play. Again, congratulations on your win here. Mental into the boogeyman on a 4-1 victory. But before you go, any final messages, any statements, any shoutouts that you have here before we'll end this interview and I'll let you go and enjoy your Sunday. Nope, that's all I got, Chief. Again, thank you so much for joining Mental. Congratulations on your win tonight here for the boogeyman. Of course, you have a good one, Chief. And that was Mental there, the boogeyman. A 4-1 victory here against DNA. Ice B, that's it for today. That's all we had on stream, so... That's it here. We'll get a little raid going. I, the problem with streaming this early, nobody's live <laughs> that I know of. So I gotta find someone who I think uh, we can get here. Who is live? Would be a fun person to raid here. Um, let's find out who's live. Do 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 do. Who's live right now that I can raid? I'm gonna raid some- you know what, let's raid someone random. Why not? Some random person that's alive right now. Um... Basically, nobody's live that I know of. Um... Was he alive? Oh, he is! Let's go raid this guy. I actually, I do know- I do know someone. This guy- let's go raid this guy. Thank you, thank you so much for joining the- What your stream here? Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. And again, I'll be live again, hopefully very soon. Maybe later tonight, but very likely I'll be live again tomorrow. So see you guys. Take care. Be well.